I could talk about the people for hours. I just love them. Um, they, I have never met a more generous and truly loving people than I did on my mission. That was something that just amazed me about them is even though some of them had so little, they were willing to give it all for us. And I never went to a house where they didn't offer us something when we left, whether it was a fruit, whether it was a drink or one of their jackets, if it was cold, they were always wanting to take care of us. Even if they weren't members, they just are so generous there and they really love everyone. And I really learned to just be grateful for what I have there because those people are, they're just, happy in their circumstances. They're very outgoing. They're, they're very positive about life. And they're in the other cities that I served in, in Ensenada and Rosarito, they're a lot more laid back than the people in Tijuana because Tijuana is more of a business town and there's trade and things like that. And so the people are always busy and they're going, going. But in the other towns, it's they're on the beach and they're a very calm people and they take things at their own time but again they're exactly the same the mexican people i feel as a whole they're just so generous and they're so loving and whatever you need they're willing to take care of you even if it means sacrificing something of their own um, there were lots of different cultures there um, the people that I met that were from a different culture, whether it was Asians or, you know, Americans that lived there, they, uh, most of them adopted the culture in Tijuana. And so they had, you know, a little bit of a different style, but they, uh, they adopted it as well. So I honestly didn't see too much of giant culture differences within the people, but everyone just adopted a mix of cultures if that makes sense. And so they were just very welcoming. And I, I do feel like the, the native Mexicans there, they were just you know, very proud to be Mexicans and they loved their land and they, and they just welcomed everyone there. And I feel just like everyone that went there just kind of adopted it. And I think I did as well in, in part that I just loved it there. Well, as for me, this was something that I had to adjust with when I got there because I've always been someone who's, who's a planner and who, you know, likes to be on time and, you know, I'm always just thinking about what's next. But there they really just live in the moment. They take one thing at a time and um, sometimes that means that some of them are late to church or they're, you know, their culture is a little bit more laid back which can be a good thing at times, and it's, but it's something that I think I had to, and maybe we as Americans have to adjust to there because they just have a very calm and we'll get to it when we get to it attitude, which is a good thing, I think, in a way, and just, but a little bit hard to adjust with when working with investigators and working with church members.